Credit for this video goes to the YouTube channel Plasma TV for Gaming. He made a lot of videos about HDR gaming, but not any HDR. He is using HLG, Hybrid Lock Gamma. HLG or Hybrid Lock Gamma is a HDR picture format, which is not very common, but popular enough that it is actually integrated in TVs like the LG CX. And his idea was with the help from the secret menu on the LG OLED TVs to use HLG instead of SDR or even native HDR10 material. And of course I was curious about this approach because maybe it can deliver a better picture quality than SDR or even native HDR. But I have to admit I was very skeptical when it comes to native HDR because overriding native HDR with a different picture format doesn't sound like a very good idea. And of course I did a lot of measurements and comparison, not just with my eyes, I recorded a lot of stuff and I like to share this with you. But as always keep in mind what you see on a YouTube video is not even close to what I can see on my TV. It is very very hard to record actually differences from SDR with HDR because of the difference in the dynamic range. So this is very very hard to record sometimes. But I did my very best but before we start we need to consider one very important thing. The YouTube channel Plasma TV for Gaming is using an LG C1 TV and I'm using an LG ZX. This may or may not be a very big difference okay we need to keep this in mind so all my measurements all my testings are based on my LG ZX and even I come maybe to a different conclusion than Plasma TV for gaming that doesn't mean that his conclusion or his opinion is wrong because we're using a different TV. But how can you now access the secret menu on the LG OLED TVs and it is actually quite simple and you can't harm much or you can't break anything because you can set it back at any time okay so all what you need to do is go to all settings go to your picture mode setting and stay on top of this menu and all what you need to do now is press 1113111 and you get the HDMI signal override menu and if and I'm just saying if your colorimeter right now is instead of auto set to BT2020 then in my opinion you're clearly watching the wrong YouTube channels. The option what we like to change today is called EOTF and I'm going to demonstrate this with Kina Bridge of Spirits on the PlayStation 5 and this game is a SDR game which makes it perfect for this demonstration. So in this game there is no native HDR support and all what I'm going to do is I'm enabling HLG and you can see the TV actually changed to HLG and we just closing this menu here and the difference is very impressive. We have now are very bright picture and the specular highlights if you can call it like this because we're still talking about the SDR picture actually in a or SDR content in a HDR picture format but especially specular highlights like the sun here are looking so much better and the overall brightness it is just impressive actually what this HLG picture option can make out of SDR games. And of course I did a lot of testing in terms of the maximum peak brightness in this game. I compared SDR with HDR always on on the PlayStation 5 and of course SDR with the option HLG activated and there is actually a big difference. Okay so let's take a closer look on some spreadsheets and measurements what I have prepared for you and after that I'm going to show you a couple of comparison videos between SDR, HLG and HDR10. And we're starting with the game Kina on the PlayStation 5 and as I explained before this game has no native HDR support which makes it really perfect for this comparison. So the only option what we have here is to play the game in SDR or with the option HDR always on on the PlayStation 5 or with the new option HLG. When I played the game in SDR my maximum peak brightness was measured around 200 candela with OLED light set to 100. With HDR always on on the PlayStation 5 and dynamic tone mapping on my maximum peak brightness was measured around 460 candela. Please keep in mind if you use the HDR always on option on the PlayStation 5 you must use dynamic tone mapping on otherwise you end up with the same peak brightness as in SDR. With the option HLG enabled my maximum peak brightness on the LG ZX 
increased significantly as you can see here with the option dynamic tone mapping on dynamic tone mapping off hgig my maximum peak brightness was always way over 600 candela this is a big difference compared to the hdr always on option with just 460 candle line of course much brighter than sdr with just 200 candela the next game what I measured was Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 5 and this game has a native HDR support and therefore I was very interested in seeing actually the difference between fake HDR with HLG and native HDR in terms of peak brightness and as you can see there is not much of a difference but HDR10 clearly has a higher peak brightness and by the way this is measured on the very same object all the time. So SDR is always limited just to 200 candela and this is again with my TV OLED light set to 100. In terms of the maximum peak brightness there is not that much of a difference between native HDR10 and HLG which is SDR in a HDR picture format but this is not the only reason why I would actually prefer native HDR in Resident Evil but I will show you this in a couple of comparison videos in a second. So what I found also if, if you like to use HLG in combination with SDR content then I would always recommend try dynamic tone mapping off first because I found dynamic tone mapping on will over brighten the picture are way too much in my opinion it doesn't look good so HLG is may may be an option for you but I found dynamic tone mapping off gives you the best contrast with HLG and SDR content. Okay so let's talk about my comparison videos and my first video is Horizon Forbidden West. This game has a native HDR support and I compared HDR10 HGHG with SDR and HLG enabled. The second video what I like to show you is Dying Light 2 on the PlayStation 5. This is a SDR game and I compared SDR with SDR and HLG enabled. Please keep in mind that I did my very best to record in the highest quality but it is not the same what I can see in real here. My conclusion will be on the end of the video. Now please enjoy my comparison.
Okay, so what is my conclusion now in terms of using HLG with SDR or overriding SDR and overriding HDR10 native material? And my conclusion is very clear. Do not use it on any native HDR game because there's no point to do it. Even we're talking in games like Cyberpunk 277 where we have not the best HDR implementation in terms of the black level but in terms of the maximum peak brightness and specular highlights, HDR10 is superior in this game compared to SDR. And this is what we would have if we would use this approach because we're turning off HDR and we're using SDR and then we're displaying SDR content in a HDR picture format. So this will not deliver the same quality as real or native HDR10 because it's quite simple. With let's say HDR we have this amount of information. SDR has this amount of information. Now we like to display this SDR content in a HDR picture format. All what is happening, we stretching this information to fill it out in the complete dy dynamic range from the TV. But you will not gain any additional information. So specular highlights, as you have seen in my comparison video, are completely disappeared because everything above 200 candela or the mastering from SDR, there is no way to display this anymore. In terms of the maximum peak brightness, yes, it is very close to native HDR10, but I would just use this option actually with SDR material because with SDR material like Kina, Bridge of the Spirits or Dying Light 2, you have actually a very great experience. Anyway, that's just my two cents. I'm looking forward for your comments in the comment section. And yeah, that's it for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.